The Washington Post reported that U.S. defense planners assess that Ukrainian forces are unable to simultaneously defend Bakhmut and launch a spring counteroffensive and have urged Ukraine to prioritize the spring counteroffensive over defending Bakhmut. Western reporting indicates that there continue to be Western concerns about Ukraine's determination to hold Bakhmut, and this is what we are focusing on today. The Institute for the Study of War continues to assess that Ukraine's decision to defend Bakhmut is likely a strategically sound effort despite its costs for Ukraine. Ukraine's defense of Bakhmut has forced the Kremlin to expand much of the Wagner Group as a force and commit high-value Russian airborne forces to sustain attritional advances. Ukrainian defense of Bakhmut has degraded significant Russian forces and will likely set favorable conditions for a future Ukrainian counteroffense. Now, had Russian troops taken Bakhmut without significant Ukrainian resistance, they could have hoped to expand operations in ways that could have forced Ukraine to construct hasty defensive positions in less favorable terrain. Therefore, Ukraine's defense of Bakhmut and undertaking an effort to set conditions for a counteroffensive are likely complementary, not mutually exclusive activities, considering that Russian forces would have continued their offensive beyond Bakhmut had Ukraine yielded the city earlier. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky said the situation in the eastern Donetsk and Luhansk regions remains extremely difficult, but Russia's prolonged involvement in the battles there reduces its capacity to fight elsewhere in Ukraine. Evgeny Prigozhin, the head of Wagner Group, emphasized himself that Wagner is nowhere near completing its encirclement of Bakhmut due to continued Ukrainian defense of the area.